Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Um, before I start, I just want to kind of show you. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of off-camera uh, tinkering. And uh, first thing you'll notice, maybe that yellow train looks kind of cool. Uh, I just realized if um, if you change the, the line color, you actually get uh, new train colors, too. So these guys, they're coming from out of the region. That's why they're the uh, original color. But let's hunt down some of these new color trains. Where are they? Oh, yes. Here we go. So we got some yellow and some blue. So just so I can uh, make it a little bit easier to show you guys the transportation lines, I changed the colors, and this is the result. And I learned that by accident. And I thought that was really neat. But earlier, what I was doing with my off-camera is I kind of changed the way the railroad comes into town. You see, this is a little bit more of a... What I thought was a little bit more efficient, but I'm, I'm actually creating the same type of jams. Which is a little bit frustrating. It, it's a lot better than what it was. Like, the, the passenger trains are thankfully moving a little bit better. I was kind of hoping, though, that they would take this little bit of a bypass around the um, cargo terminal, but a few of them seem to be coming in this way. Anyhow, the whole point of this episode is to do some tinkering, so let's just go ahead and do some. Maybe we'll end up changing the railroad, who knows? Hopefully this problem will just rectify itself, but the main things I want to work on are um, definitely kind of changing the way the uh, highway is um, um, getting people over to this area. And I do want to do, like I said, a little bit of work over here just in terms of that intersection and just some just general stuff, you know. Alright, so where shall we begin? Oh, I want to show you actually one more thing. So I added this. Because if you remember the last episode, there was a lot of um, truck traffic kind of getting bogged down over here. So the whole point of this is a little bit of a spillway. Um, people come in here if they want to enter the farming district, go up and over. These are one-way streets. This will force you outward, just to kind of go either way. And these are just two-way roads. Same with uh, over here. Oh no, sorry, this one is a one-way road. This was to move people out very quickly. That's right. So if you come out this way, you have the option to turn left or to go straight. That's right. And then once you hit this outer ring, that's when you can go back in and around. But you can see traffic much, much, much smoother here. And then what I'm going to do with the end of this road is, like I said from before, I was hoping to bring a highway in and then just kind of swoop it in all the way down around here. And eventually go serve the uh, the downtown area just right there. And I, I had a little bit more um, thought kind of concerning this area. But I think I want to do, just because these buildings are a little bit sore in the eye, especially they're all like little kind of repeaters, I think I'm going to bring down the density and maybe move some of the, um, I'm sorry, move some of the taller buildings a little bit further back. But um, I guess our priority is going to be the highway. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and give that a shot. And oops, road tools, obviously. And I think it's going to be a, an elevated highway. And because we're going through the city, we're going to want to use the uh, the ones with the sound barriers. You can kind of see they're a little bit more expensive in terms of the the cost for upkeep, but and for placement, sorry. Um, but like the, the benefits, like they definitely, you know, we need them. Okay. No. Oh, I have upgrade tool on. Good lord. I'm like, why is this not working? So we'll start off with a raised road. And I'm going to go a little bit curvy. And we'll just come in just like so. And this is the uh, right hand side. So like traffic coming in type of thing. Okay, so we're going to lose that power line. We're going to pause the game. I'm just thinking to myself, you know, I want to make sure I have enough room to run the corresponding direction. And it doesn't have to be too far away from its, uh, you know, its opposite self, basically. So this looks okay for the moment. I'm not disappointed with this. And we'll just kind of follow this around still. Right now, we'll worry about the downtown part after we finish the uh, farmland. But I am going to bring 
the other side of this around now. And I did want to get these a little bit close to each other, so it looks, uh, you know, somewhat plausible as a as a real kind of highway. The key is to um, not have your endpoints so close to the other tracks, like I just did right there, or just really any road or anything. Otherwise, the pillars aren't really going to line up properly. Let's see if I can bring this back without that much of a... Nope, I got no choice. Yeah, see, not the easiest thing, but... Just be a little bit patient and you'll, you'll get it. And if you want a little bit of a better angle, just kind of give yourself this view. And you can see what pillars are causing you the trouble. In this case, I believe it has to do with the height of this road. So if we wanted to, we could raise this and see how now that's no longer an issue. So maybe just for that section, we'll go up just one. And then I'm going to page back down just over here. Oh, let me sneak this by. Let me do it. Oh, I love it. There it is. I know it. So if you're having that kind of trouble, just turn off the snap points. See how much easier that is now? So I guess we'll turn off snap points just for the rest of this highway. Now, if, if you're running into this problem a lot and it does bug you, there is a mod available so you can make roads and everything and elevated bridges and all that stuff without, um, like highways, trains included, without having to worry about pillars. It actually takes them right out of the game. So if they're totally driving you crazy, um, yeah, just go ahead and download that mod. I don't really mind them that much. Like, they actually don't bother me. I think it looks kind of kind of nice too when you manage to get um, some roads kind of slipping underneath them but to each their own all right now <clears throat> here's gonna be the fun part so it's like this guy we can just do a nice simple connection like this right I want to get it so the curve follows in We'll bring this down. Yeah, that's not too extreme. I think that should be okay. But we also want to be able to um, have people go around to the other side. So this is where it gets a little bit fun. So first things first, let's connect. Let's go over this little dip right here. Hmm. I wonder if I can make that a little bit smoother. Sorry guys, just kind of caught my attention. You know how these things are. Now I can make that a little bit nicer. That's a little bit smoother. I like that. Now, I wonder if I should have gone... No, that's okay. I, I was debating about the height, but I, I don't want to start it again. Like, that's a little bit silly. I think the height's okay. That was, my other option would be to, you can see, just bring it down one and just have like that height. But then I don't really know if I could build over stuff at that height. Let's test it. Oh, son of a gun, you can. Oh, well, that's too much effort. I'm not going to change it. <laughs> it's just so you guys know at home. If you want to, you can, though. Now we know. All right, now, the million-dollar question. Can we get in like this? We can. Now, you can do this with on-ramps. Instead of just making it as a highway, you can kind of connect these guys together, you know, this way. I'm doing it this way with the wider roads, because I really do want to bring a lot of traffic in. 
Let's make that a bit smoother. Hmm, bizarre. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Sometimes I have that trouble where you can't really select the tool. You gotta be like right above it almost. But you know what? For me, these kind of things, they're worth the extra mile because it looks nicer in the long run. All right, that, that's kind of cool, actually. Kind of like that. What I think maybe over here, though, is I'll probably drop it down to that lower height just so it's not too extreme. Because if you think about it, it's just what's throwing me off in terms of the height is that um, there's not really that many buildings that are this tall. Kind of comes out of a preference thing, I guess, but whatever you guys want to do. Alright, now what we need to do... <clears throat> actually, we'll do this part over here. So if you want to go up and over, I'm actually going to do the inside. Like this. Over. Hopefully get that pillar just right. Mm, nope. These are the kind of things you're going to be a little bit, um, you know, you'll, you'll be going in circles a little bit, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. But, you know, just be apply some patience and, and you'll get it. I don't want that. Hmm. I wish that wasn't the snap point, you know? Because that's not quite the curve I want. Maybe we can have them go like this and meet this way. Yeah, see, that's the lower. Oh, shoot, guys, I don't know now. I'm so tempted to change it, but I don't really want to go through the effort. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Okay, so let's just bring this back up. I'm, I am satisfied with the height. Let's, let's not, let's not get carried away. Oh, I think I just had that, too. Excellent. Actually, that's pretty, that's almost exactly what I was after. Because that matches the, the height profile really well. Cool. So now we have got two ways to come into the city using both sides of the, tr of the uh, highway. And to leave, this one will go out and over. Now, if you guys don't want to do this on your own or if you think what I'm making is horrifyingly ugly, which honestly, that's totally fair. I I accept that. Um, you can go to the um, assets um, editor. You can make your own and then just import them in. You can use the stuff that's already pre-made, like these guys here. Personally, I find it a little bit more fun kind of making your own. Or if you want, you can download through the um, community mods <coughs> intersections that other people have made. And you can, uh, you know, read reviews. And some people have even posted uh, some pictures of a few of them in action on uh, on Reddit. So don't feel like you're kind of stuck making your own. And uh, I'm sorry if this one doesn't really look that nice. I think it looks kind of functional. I guess it's the polite way to put it, right? Because everything works, you know. Which for me is like the main thing. And now we just need a way to get people off of here into our farming zone. Okay, so let's be a little bit creative here. I did have the six lane in mind. I want this guy here. Hmm, maybe we can do that actually, that's kind of fun. And I, want, I I hope these will be enough. Like I'm just going to try with the on-ramps. And what I'm looking for is basically just the traffic that is coming in to follow the pattern of the roads. They don't have to cross over anybody. And so we'll see if we can just get really lucky and just draw this right across. Now, 
Now that last part looks horrifyingly steep, so I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I don't. I don't know though. Oh, actually, I don't know. Oh God, yes. There's no way. It's just that last little bit. But you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just encouraging you know people to join their own their own lanes, so traffic kind of merges and flows a little bit better. Okay, what I'm tempted to do is actually break off over here, maybe. And then try and do a little bit of a lower approach going in. If that makes a little bit more sense, I hope. It feels peculiar not having the, um, the snap points on. It's like too much freedom, you know? Now, is that straight enough that we can we can live with it? I think so. Oh, okay, so the issue here, what I've ended up doing, is created a traffic light. Now, is there a way to come in so that I don't actually do that? Alright, maybe I can drop this a bit down. <clears throat> or, why don't we just cut right to the chase and go like this? Because you know what? I'm actually very silly. This is um, not even the way in. So it's a good thing I actually didn't uh, connect to that and leave it. All right. Now, what we might encounter here is a little bit of a um, backlog in traffic. So let's actually do that fun little... Um, remember earlier in one of the previous episodes, I showed you guys how to make all the individual turning lanes so that people actually use them? This should hopefully flow traffic a little bit better. And if you notice, no one's using the straight two middle lanes to go anywhere. We'll just uh, go like this. Unfortunately, a little bit of farm damage, but it gets people moving. But we'll just oh, rezone this right back up.